Hey everybody, this is Pam at the Paper Outpost and I was just sitting here having some fun today and I thought you might like to have some fun too. So if you want to have some fun, jump on in. Today I was, I just made this little guy and uh, this little guy is made out of a little parchment paper bag and I guess I would akin these to the types of bags that you get if you went to a cook, a bakery and they put a, a nice big chocolate chip cookie that has been heated in there for you. Yeah, so I would call them brown parchment bags, craft parchment bags. Um, and the, the size that I use, just measuring here, hang on, much to my chagrin, is about six and a half by eight. So it's six and a half by eight. And if I can find a link to these, I will put them in my Amazon shop, but you can probably find them on eBay, Amazon, Etsy, and like baking supplies, things like that. And uh, so that's the source. Uh, you don't actually need one of these. You could use a regular paper bag or just use some craft paper and fold it into what looks like the shape of a, uh, a little cookie size bag. Yeah, so anyway, um, let's take a peek, see here at Prototype. And this is Prototype. Hello, Prototype. Isn't she lovely? Ah, this woman is going places, doing things, ruling the world. Okay, so let's back her up a little bit. And uh, so what it is, it's a little, do, 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 It's a little, I guess I would call it a little booklet folder portfolio thingy. But basically it opens up and you have, let's see if I can show you this, pocket here, pocket here, Pocket here, yep. Pocket here, pocket here, pocket here, pocket here. And a lot of the work is done for you now um, because of the shape of the bag. Uh, what I did was I did do a little bit of sewing on this one. Let me show you. Can you see it? There's my sewing. So I sewed it. You don't have to sew it. I just, it was an optional sew, totally optional, but very fun. I sewed the spine. You could even put in little papers in here and make it a little booklet. Oh, that is so stinking cute. Maybe we'll try that today. And my mission was actually to use up the little scraps on my desk. Okay, so let me give you a quick pan of what I'm dealing with. All right, mess, mess. It's always a mess. And there's like a pile of mess over there. So there were a lot of like little pieces of stuff, little pieces, and um, I thought I would just scrap them all up together and make something cutie boo. So uh, if you want to make something cutie boo with me, jump on in. All right, so let's see what we got. Okay, so this is prototype. Let me show you again. I just stuck, I made a little cluster, cheesecloth, little bits of seam binding. Whoop, whoop, whoop. <laughs> Come back here, you little gipper. Um, trim, little pieces of trim. So you think stuff you should throw away. Eh, 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 yep. Uh, a little metal charm. Um, that's from my Victorian people uh, digital kit, but you could put any picture you want on here. Maybe one from a book or um, you could stamp one or stencil one on or a draw one on. Here's a word I just tore on there. Here's some, I cut out a bunch of shapes with my paper um, punches a while back and I have a little drawer full of, uh, let me show you, my little drawer full of mis miscellaneous uh, paper shapes so they're grab and go at the ready and I always forget I have this so I'm trying to use some more of those being diligent here little bits of scraps material uh, punch out little uh, thumb hole pieces um, there's a little leaf out of book page and uh, here is a piece of wax linen thread that I was uh, sewing a journal together but I had a little piece left over and I thought oh wouldn't that be cute on there it just kind of look nice put a sticker on the back and uh, you could even do more in here just tucking around like a ticket and a little picture of a dragonfly. Um, here's a sticker of a leaf. How cute is that? And I uh, just used a little rickrack and some white paper I had sitting here. So let's see what we can make. Oh, this, I, I just, it was a scrap of uh, colored paper I had that I had apparently mopped up at some point, some inks or watercolor, not sure at this point, but uh, yeah, it was fun. It was just a college rule paper. Um, here's the leftover pieces of it. And uh, so those are, you know, when you have little colored pieces like that, that are just so pretty, hang on to them because you'll use them. You'll use them. All right, let's make one of these. Dun, da, da, da. 
here's the bag. Okay, let me back up a bit so you can see. Okay, if you can't see, please tell me. Okay. All right, so I'm going to put the side with the opening. Like there's a taller back and a shorter front. I'm going to be looking at the front. And uh, I'm just sneak peeking. Yeah, there was really um, nothing ter terribly difficult about this. This was very easy. Basically, I just folded it up. But before I folded it up, what I did was I, I cut a wedge into the front piece. So this front piece, I cut a wedge. And the way I did that to get it balanced on both sides was uh, did this old trick. I pulled it this way. Make sure you can see. I right, here, here it is looking at you. Open it, turn it sideways, and then match the sides up. Okay. Whoop, whoop. Okay, steady there so people can see what you're doing, Missy. So I'm matching the sides up. Okay. Pulling that nose out front. And now when I go and I make my trim, as long as these match up, I hold everything in place. See where I'm cutting? Just cutting a little straight cut that way. And now I'm good. Woohoo! I'm celebrating all successes today, big, small, or otherwise. Yes, backing up now so you can see. Um, I guess I should probably put a lighter background so you can see something here. Hang on. Better? Better, better Christmas sweater? Okay, we're rocking. All right, so we have our initial wedge. Okay, now we're going to fold up and just decide how tall we, we can go really short. We can go medium. I'm going to go medium. Okay, and I'll just show you that that's what that looks like. Okay, so now I'm going to come in and do a little gluing. And I'm going to glue the part. It's better if you glue this part and not the upper part. Why? Why? Because then you know you don't over glue. Yeah, you just glue exactly what's needed. Okay, so fold up. Press. You can use a bone folder here if you want. And there we go. So now we have this big pocket. And you could just work with it like this if you want to maybe stick it onto a page like that. Can't find a journal anywhere for the life of me right now. Um, or, uh, and use a big pocket here and even a big pocket in back if you wanted to maybe glue it here or glue it this way or make a U glue. Okay, you could uh, do that. But I'm going to go ahead and do the booklet formation and that means I'm going to fold it. Mm -hmm. Folding. All right. There we go. Folding. And the nice thing about this parchment brown craft paper stuff, it's it's already crinkly. It, it feels like you coffee dyed it. It sounds like you coffee dyed it. You know, it's got the, the crinkle factor going, which is highly rewarding for some reason in our world. We just love the crunch. Most of us do anyway. All right, I'm just going to glue that little flapper down so we're not flapping around unnecessarily. Okay, so now I'm just going to do a little bit of sewing. Nothing fancy. Hi, Holly. Now this has a gusset. See the gusset? There's your gusset. Um, so I'm going to sew across the bottom. Did I sew the sides? No. And I sewed across the top and then I sewed down the middle. So let me go. What? You want to watch? Oh, good grief. You, you guys are putting the pressure on me. Okay. I'm going to do my best here. Hang on. Okay. There's my sewing machine. And here comes rookie, rookie seamstress at the ready. Can you see what I'm doing? Okay. So I'm going to sew here with a st straight stitch here on the spine and then just across the top don't don't seal this in or your gusset won't work okay so you want to start past that little gusset and uh, you could use any stitch you want i'm just using a straight stitch because it's um it's it's just easy yeah all right and we're going we're going we're sewing and we're going. Okay, and we're done. All right. Now I got a little scissor at the ready. I want to be careful not to pull too much on this because it is thin paper. So you want to get in there and trim your excess off. And uh, then I'm just going to whoop, sew here. Okay. So here I go. I'm sewing here. Okay. Put my foot down. Putting my foot down. And I'm sewing here. Yeah. All right. I don't go back and forth on paper because uh, it'll probably tear. So 
and it usually stays in place. Not too bad. Okay, so now I'm going to do the spine. Oop, I can't point and not look at the same time. The spine. All right. Yep. Okay. And we're hoping for center. And we're hoping for center. And we're hoping for center. This is a neutral colored uh, thread in here. You could use any thread. A nice uh, contrasting thread would look awesome. And there we go. We have a little pocket here, a little pocket here, pocket here, pocket here, and it closes up into a little booklet. All right, so very cool. Hang on. I'm going to swing you back around. Hold on. Okay, we're here. Now, um, this is actually uh, the easy part because we got all the hard stuff done. It wasn't really hard. And uh, hey, Holly, uh, you don't have to sew. You could do faux sewing as well, just dot, 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 which you could totally do. Um, and I am going to move this because I'm going to start gluing and stuff. So I hope that's OK. Hope you can still see it. Uh, OK, so I did some stamping across here. So let me do that. Oh, look it. I didn't retract my craft knife. Bad crafter. OK, always remember to retract your craft knife because uh, we don't want any craft knife accidents. Um, I want you to be around for years crafting with me. I don't want to have anybody losing any appendages or dropping it on the dog or something. So, okay. So I'm just going to use this script stamp. All right. Why don't I use something different? I just used that. Let's use, let's use, what's this? Oh, a sun? I don't know. I have sun. Want to use a sun? Okay. Let's try the sun. All right, here we go. Oh, that's kind of cool. I'm going to put them like as if it was a bar of suns. Yes. Nobody knows the trouble I've seen. Do, 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 do. Cannot stamp on a straight line. That's okay. That's okay. All right, so now... Yeah, I, I think this is the fun part because what I'm going to do is just randomly use what's on my desk. So I'm looking for little bits and pieces. I'm not ruling out floor either. I'm, I am, I'm not too proud. I'm not too proud to look at floor because a lot of my stuff goes flying. And uh, uh, you want to use thin, thinnish things. So I'm thinking I would like to use a little bit of this trim. Mm hmm. Right. Okay. Right. Okay. And uh, I could come across here. I could follow the scallops. Let me see if I can emph scallop these a little bit so you could see them. It's going on parchment. I don't know if this is going to show up, but you know what will? Oh, I know what will. I know what will. That other stuff, that gilding paste stuff. Yeah, let me bring that out. Okay. This is the gilding wax or gilding paste. Sometimes that will grab on different surfaces better if you can't get regular stuff to show up. Sometimes you got to come in with some different products. Yeah, and we got different products we can play with. So oh, that looks kind of pretty, huh? Ooh, look at that. I like that a lot. Yeah, okay. Um, we're talking flashy. Flashy town. We're all dressed up and going nowhere. <laughs> Isn't that the truth? Like, do you ever go, you know, you think about like, I should get some new clothes. And then you think, why? <laughs> Uh, no, we must, we must, uh, we must carry on and do things. Okay. So I've got a little on my finger. What, what can I do with it? Can I edge this maybe? Yeah. So I denote the pocket here. So you don't always have to add a bulk. Sometimes you can just add color and here, look at that. That's easy. That's kind of cool. Actually, maybe I'll just do the whole look out look, and, it, and it spreads well. Oh, the, it really likes this, uh, substrate apparently, or this, you know, underlayment. How cool is that? I'm, I'm loving it already. I don't know. It's got like an Egyptian feel or something already. And what am I desperately in search of right now because of my dirty fingers? My baby wipe. Yeah, let me grab a baby wipe. Okay, got it. Got those at Aldi. And uh, I think there's still like you can only buy so many at a time. But every time I see them, I just like grab a couple. I think it's one or two per. They come in three packs, I think. And uh, so you can buy it one or two, three packs, something like that. But, you know. A wet washcloth or a wet paper towel will suffice completely. Um, okay, so there we go. 
So yeah, I kind of try and figure it out because if I use the wet washcloth or the, uh, you know, the wet paper towel that you got to buy the paper towel. Well, if you do the washcloth, something like that, you got to wash the washcloth. But although, you know, how much can you say a washcloth is taking up in your laundry? Not that much, right? Yeah. So no, we're not going to do that. Okay. So now what else do we have? We want to put some little other things on here. Let's look at the front. That's what we did. Okay. So let's just look at the front and let's get the front going. All right, so I'm going to bring over my little box of cutout things. And I had this pretty picture of a lady. She also came from my Victoria digital kit. But like I said, you don't have to use that. You can totally use whatever you like. Uh, the world is your oyster. There are beautiful images. Of, that's really pretty. Yeah, forget the lady. We're going with the owl. We like the owl. All right, let's round the owls. edges. And this is walnut stain. Mm -hmm. Why? Because it's a dark brown. We like that. Actually, kind of black would look cool on here too. Maybe I'll add a little black for emphasis. Ooh, that would look really cool. Yes, it would. Oh, we're getting a little excited now about the papers. So we have this. This is a parchment paper I printed this on. And this is a different kind of parchment paper, but they're both parchment-like. So we're going with the theme of parchmentalism. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh my, my bird is singing to himself. He's self-entertaining. They like to do that. They say they're happy when they're vocalizing. And they're, you know. Yeah, he's very quiet, but yeah, he's oh, he's now he's giving himself little kisses, little air kisses. Yeah, that's my guy. And I think I'd like a background layment. Now this one. I used some cheesecloth and I thought that looked really cool with the uh, the extra little pieces and I might do that as well because I think that would look really cool with the owl because you know the owl may want to gather things for its nest so that um, it can it can make a nest right because it has to have a nest but it might be really cool to put some music behind it too because maybe it's a musical owl like my musical bird mm-hmm I don't know. Let's go with the let's go with the nest effect. Okay, so the way I glued that down was I used my glue stick, create Scotch create glue stick, um, and I just sort of went all over the front of the bag. wasn't really any any brain surgery here. Here we go. Yeah, oh, gotta be gentle because it is a little paper bag. You know, it's only meant for that one little greedy fist to go in there and get the chocolate chip cookie and get out. So you know, it's be gentle, people. Be gentle. Okay, so now we're going to use some cheesecloth. And I have uh, coffee dyed this cheesecloth um, or spritz some distress spray on it or, you know, anything to make it brown. Just rubbed some uh, um, rubber, uh, dauber on it and just mushed it around a bit. I mean, there's a lot of ways you can, you can uh, color your um, cheesecloth. Yeah, we have, we have our ways. We have our ways on our lazy days. Yeah. What are you talking about lazy days? We're not having lazy days here. We're working. We're working. We're creating. Reckless abandon. No laziness here. Silly pants. All right. Okay. Yeah. Don't, don't get your, um, don't think that just because you're being creative, you're being lazy. Um, you know, we have to, we have to associate it with playtime. And it, for some reason, we, as adults, don't give playtime enough merit in our lives. Like, uh, yeah, why, you know, geez, you know, why would we need uh, rejuvenation and um, healing and restoration? No, no, we don't need any of that. We just carry on like soldiers. <laughs> no, it's okay. It's okay to play. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to put that down there. Okay. So everybody is in their little place. And now let's just see what little strange doodads I have on my table. Oh, I got all sorts of strange doodads. Oh, Mr. Vo Vocal Pants is uh, firing up. We could put some of that on there. That might look pretty. All right. It is very pretty. I love this stuff. All right. A little rough edges. I, I, I like rough edges. Okay. Could just be a random. We'll do a random. Yeah. We'll do a... I wasn't expecting this, but here it is. Piece of paper. Like maybe these, the little owls are gathering these for their um, other parts of their nest. You know, this is maybe going into the bedroom. Yeah. Very nice color. Okay. Now we're not prejudging anything yet. We're just going to keep layering on. We, we really don't have any 
rhyme or reason to what we're doing. We're just doing it. Here's another little piece of, uh, I'm sorry, am I going out of screen? Um, a little piece of trim that I trimmed off. I'll put you there. And I'm just building with really no hind thought, no forethought, no thought in the middle. There's apparently just no thought. There is no thought to this. This is just happening. More of this little stuff. I don't know what it is. I think it came from old jewelry. And um, sometimes a little black piece can be anchoring, which is very nice. Uh, I think we talked about that the other day, but we'll talk about it again. That a little piece, a little splash of black here and there in your designs can give a nice anchor feel. Here's a little piece of something. Um, let me just tear that. I don't know what it is. All right, I'll tear the edge off. And maybe, no, okay, I'm gonna put this on it. Right, okay. Uh, uh, getting kind of cloggered up here. Uh, okay, how about there? All right, we've got that there. All right, going so far. I'm not done yet. Oh, don't you give up on me. More is coming. Oh, okay, we have this little guy. He's floating around on the desk for some unknown purpose. Hmm, that's interesting. Let me put a little side door there or something. Yeah, it kind of looks cute like we're gonna open. We're going, to open, we're going to be open for business. Yeah, and that's going to be the door. The door handle. There we go. Yeah, yeah. If I get it on straight, it might actually look like you're supposed to do something like that. Yeah, there we go. What else do we have? What's that? A oh, piece of ticket. Maybe we can use that inside. And digging. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I have a little bit of this rickrack, and this might be cute. If I could put, oh, that looks really, oh, you can't see. Why didn't you say so? Here, yes, let's do that. Okay, we're just coming across the bottom. All right, now the other one, I put a little string down the side. This one, I'm going, yep, see, you are not limited to direction. You can go any way you want. You can put as many little strings on or as few little strings on as you want. And uh, if you're like me and you've sort of collected a lot of these little oddball pieces along the way, it's a great way to use them up. Now I could have some uniformity here and also put a one here. Um, do I want to do that? Do I? I can't see. No, yeah, that's too uniform. I don't know. Uh, let's go with less uniformity and more random, more random. Okay, I'm looking on the floor. What do I, oh gosh, I got a lot. Wait, I think I see a word. Hang on, what is that word? Oh, intelligent. Oh, that goes really well with the owl. Hang on. I found intelligent on the floor. Yeah, what a good find, huh? I knew, I knew my intelligence went somewhere. I found, I found it. <laughs> Just stuck to the bottom of my, my craft chair. All right, okay. Now let's ink this up a little bit, maybe a little black, give it a little definition. And owls are intelligent, wouldn't you say? Well, at least they look like they know what's going on half the time. They're good lookers, right? They're constantly looking around. Okay, we'll put this on here because we found you right there or down here. Oh, how about here? Yeah. Okay, intelligent. Mm hmm. And uh, what else do we have? What was that? Oh, more waxed, waxed linen thread. Okay. Maybe we'll make something out of this one. Hmm, okay. Let us maybe take this and maybe we'll make a little bow or something. Maybe we'll incorporate a little piece of the rickrack because we're feeling very, you know, crazy town. And I feel like if I had a little, a little piece of wire, that would look just adorbs. Hang on. Okay, I'm stealing the world's tiniest piece of wire going to cut a piece of this off. And then in the end of some of these ribbons, like the, there's a little tiny wire. See that? And you grab it and you pull it out and then it's yours. Yep. That's how we got it. Okay. So I'm going to take that. Yeah. And I'm just going to gonna wrap it. That'll keep that tight. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Now I don't want to deal with some sticky pointies, so I think I'm going to twist them together and I'm going to do the illustrious curly Q with this gizmo. This is a round nosed 
pliers, jewelry pliers. And you can get those in most stores like the Walmart and Hobby Lobby and Michaels and probably Joann's too, but you can buy them online. But if you curl these up, then there's no Sharpies. Okay, and sometimes you can incorporate it into your design. Like, oh yeah, I wanted that little circle thing there because it looks um, metallic and rusted and I could actually hang a little dangle. Oh, yes, yes. Hold, hold everything. I'm getting a little dangle. Okay, what do we got? We got this. Why don't we do that? Okay, I need a, I need a hook. Wow, geez, what time is it? Okay, yeah, because <laughs> like I got totally lost in the process there and completely forgot about the time. That must mean I was having fun. Yeah, yeah, fun was being had. All right, don't open it the wrong way. Okay, these come, oh man, I just opened it the wrong way. You can't tell with this thing. Oh, Lordy me. Well, it is what it is. Okay, <laughs> that's the way it goes sometimes. Yep, yep, yep. All right, these are little jump rings. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, all right. Yeah, you can usually open them with a finger if they're not the real super strong ones. And then I'm just gonna put it right through here and close it back up. Make sure they meet. We got a little dangle. It looks like everything was totally planned. Now I'm gonna put you up there. Yeah, there we go, something like that. Yeah, I think that'll be good. Up in the corner. Yeah. All right. So, what, oh, look at that. Make sure you cover your glue stick. You don't want to lose that. Okay. So, I'm going to use Fabrifix clear silicone glue. I'm going to put this on an angle. A nice fair amount because I've got a few little odd things here to hang on to that I want glued down. And I'm placing there. There, you go down and you behave. And the rest of you get in line. Everybody play together well. I don't want to hear any arguments. There. Okay. That's good. I like that. And uh, okay, so we have the outside. How cute is that, right? And we could even do more layering, but since we're getting on in time, I'm just going to come along and stuff the bejeebers out of the middle. And you can really put anything you like in here. Like, let's say you have this odd thing. And this would maybe be cool in here, but I need to trim him a little bit because he's a little strange at the top. And a little strange at the bottom. Um, okay, so we're going to put you in there. Well, let me back you up a bit so you can see what we're doing here. So we're just building our design on the inside. And, oh, maybe I can maybe I can use that music because I, I did like it. I think it gives a little class, you know what I mean? Class it up here with some music. Yeah, there we go. We can pretend we're classy. All right, let's put some... Um, and you can back all of these with uh, cardstock if the paper is really thin. And that way you'll make some nice journaling cards for everybody. Oh, it's, oh, that's a nice splash of color, right? Right? Yeah. Okay, let's do that. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is going to be pretty. Okay, maybe I need to put it here. Yeah, maybe that needs to go there. And what else? What else? Oh, this is a very odd thing. Isn't that an odd thing? It's like... The fungus among us or something, you know? We all end up as fungus at one point. <laughs> well, maybe not all of us. Um, we all go back to where, whence we came. Okay, maybe I'll put you there. That's kind of cool. It's mysterious and cool. And everybody's going to be wondering, what does that mean? That must mean something to somebody somewhere. But apparently, we're never going to find out what. Okay. Like a little air of mystery. A little hey what's that all about kind of feeling you know you know okay we got that there oh we have this cute little he's very cute be nice if you popped on something now let's see what else do we have uh, okay i'm just going through my little bin here oh we have this nice little vellum owl maybe we'll tuck you and now you're to the same color oh we do have you though you would like to pop and you are similar you came from one of my floral sets you think i can remember the name of it had something to do with flowers. <laughs> yeah. Vintage flowers, flowers vintage, something like that. All right, maybe we'll put you in there, give you a little color. And I like the way that you can see through the bag. See that? That's really cool. Yeah. All right, so let's put some other exciting things in here. Are these going to be too big? Maybe too big, huh? Yeah. Um, but you can fold them. Yeah, you can fold them. Oh, but these are really cute. Look at the bunnies. All right, let me maybe put some bunnies in here. Now, if you don't get quite to the edge when you're trimming, you don't always have to. 
Why? 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 Because you can just come in here and ink it up and that way you don't have to cut it off. You can just make it like it's a frame. We'll save you a little extra time plus you get a bigger piece that way. All right, so here are some bunnies. We'll put some bunnies in here. That's very nice. And uh, oh, maybe some more mushrooms. Will you guys fit? Maybe if I if I trim you a bit, you'll fit. Oh boy, here we go. I'm gonna try and cut a straight line. Oh, that's terrible, terrible, terrible. We're gonna do our best. Okay, corner rounder. Looked like it was planned the whole time. All right, in you go. That's kind of cool. Let's give you a little bit of a. Okay, a little bit of a hue, a Huey Dewey, followed by a Huey or a Louie at mushrooms. And then we need something for that little pocket. Time check, 30, okay. Oh, one of these days I'll get a, a camera that allows me to record a, just a smidge longer. All right, so let's put something. Oh, that's cute. But I bet I want something simple. Nope, too big. Where was that little thing? Yeah, the little thing? Does that go in there? No, too small. Okay. I will find something. Hang on. Don't, don't give up on me. Don't give up on me. I'll show you what I'm looking at. Oh, these are cute. Oh, I do kind of like that. Um, I could put you in there too. How about that? All right, all right, okay. Um, let me round you. Yeah. So cute. Cutie, cute, cute. So a lot of little extra secret places to write and explore and you can put notes on the back or little secrets or dates or, you know, poems or sayings or all sorts of fun. Yeah. Okay. Let's put this surprise in there. This is a combination to a padlock. This must have come from one of my tickets. Did geez, but like I said, you can use stuff you find around the house, scraps, or you can use um, real stuff, you know, like don't like use real stuff. I need a po I'm trying to put something in a pocket that doesn't exist. Um, time check. Okay. We're okay. Oh, how about one of these? Yeah, we're going to flower. Is it hit you? Okay. We're going to put a butterfly down. Going to make a very fast pocket. Do, 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 Wicked Witch of the West from uh, Wizard of Oz. Do, 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 Okay. I'll put you over there. Far pocket. Stick you in there. A bunny there. Okay, and we are a loaded pocket. Isn't that cool? Yeah, that's very cool. Um, okay, and we have that. And then we could put something on the back, like a sticker. Um, just to, you know, say we did a big, big cute butterfly. Let's just put you on the back because you'd be really pretty. Oh my gosh, I think I'm going to lose you any minute. So I hope you had fun here. Be sure to check out my Etsy shop for any vintage digital kits. Check out my Amazon store for any of my supplies. Um, Please uh, like, subscribe, and share if you find value here. Hit the notification bell. Uh, my newsletter comes out month. Um, no, my newsletter um, is emailed monthly. Sign up for it. There's a link down below. Videos come out Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday. Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday, 7 a.m. Eastern Time. Podcasts come out Tuesdays and Thursdays. Join the Facebook group. We're having a lot of fun over there making stuff, uh, doing weekly and monthly challenges. And you can find me on Instagram, Pinterest, Etsy, Twitter, LinkedIn, Facebook, 